from Team 3 meteorologist Sean McAdee. Sean, you are uh, tracking a little bit of rain in the forecast, though, even though we have all this sunshine as well, right? Yeah, there's going to be some small opportunities tonight, perhaps again as we work into tomorrow. And then we just as things get hot and humid, this with temperatures in the upper 80s at times and dew points really high up there. This weekend, there's always going to be these small chances for some raindrops at times. Right now, 62 degrees in Rochester, though. Today, there really isn't going to be a chance until tonight. Today is the nicest day this week to get outside, and I would make a plan to do so because later this week, again, it's hot, really hot. It's humid. At times, it could rain. You don't have to worry about any of that today. Mason City, 60 degrees out the door. Gorgeous start with a nice northwestern northwestern breeze at around five miles per hour. Not, nothing crazy. Temps right now around 60 degrees, so you're stepping out the door. A t-shirt is probably fine. Maybe you have a light jacket, but that humidity is going to help you hold on to some of that heat today. Right now on the radar in the upper Midwest, clear skies, but looking just to our south across even Illinois and Missouri parts. That's the remnants, these rain showers right here of Hurricane Barrel. Then it was a tropical storm. Now it's a tropical depression. It will continue to move into places like Indiana and Michigan. But on the backside, we get these winds out of the north. Those northerly winds are actually going to drag down some wildfire smoke from Canada. And it's going to make the sky seem a little bit hazy over the next two days. Don't be surprised if at sunset it has this orange or purplish hue. That's exactly what you're seeing wildfire smoke higher up in the sky. We'll let you know if there are air quality concerns as that moves in. Right now, it doesn't seem to be too much of a concern, but it could get worse. Low 80s this afternoon, the best day this week to get outside. Have I mentioned that it's not that hot, not that humid, and it's not raining? That's all today. Later this week, all of that comes our way. Watch this. Here's today. Low 80s, some light clouds from the remnants of Hurricane Barrel kind of overstretching the eastern half of our region. You know, if you see some long, thin clouds that seem to stretch across the entire sky, that's what you're seeing. It's the outflow from Barrel. But now, for us this afternoon, that doesn't mean any rain. It could mean a tiny little shower with that northerly breeze later on tonight, maybe around sunset or later. Really, though, that chance is real small. Most of the day is completely dry. Tomorrow is different, though. Tomorrow, as winds turn out of the north, they kind of squeeze the atmosphere and squeeze out whatever humidity is left. So we'll get some more uh, spotty showers at times, especially along I-35. Still, though, we don't really need the rain. We've had plenty of rain so far this kind of summer season. We're running about five to six inches above normal for this time of year, so we could go with the dry week. Tomorrow is our best chance for rain. Thursday, Friday, the chances not going to be as much. There's small, like 20% chances pretty much every day this weekend as temperatures heat up into the upper 80s with and with all the humidity, it will feel like the mid 90s at times. So this is definitely the weekend to sit by the pool or jump at a lake or something, you know. Yeah. You seem very excited about it. <laughs> Got some birthday plans that involve oh, the right. water this coming weekend. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Perfect. I'm looking forward to it. Cool. Gotta stay cool. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Sean.